everybody. I am in my neighborhood library and I am once again sharing with you a little bit from my book The Fellowship 2. And I want to just read a scripture from Galatians and read it multiple times in different translations. Galatians 6, 7 through 10, Christian Standard Bible. Don't be deceived. God is not mocked. For whatever a person sows, he will also reap. Because the one who sows to his flesh will reap destruction from the flesh. But the one who sows to the Spirit will reap eternal life from the Spirit. Let us not get tired of doing good. For we will reap at the proper time if we don't give up. Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us work for the good of all, especially for those who belong to the household of faith. Doing good things for Christians, for those who are part of the fellowship, is something God wants us to do. And He wants us to continue to do it. He doesn't want us to stop. Don't give up doing what is right, what you know will bless you. You might not see the benefits of it right away, but in the long run, you're going to see it. And how are you going to do, it says, don't stop doing good, you know, as you have opportunity for all these people, but especially for those who are believers, those who are of the household of faith. How are you going to especially do something for those who are of the household of faith if you are not spending time with them, if you are spending all your time with people in the world and uh, trying to reach people in the world, working with those in the world, etc., etc., and no time with the church, gathering with the church, being faithful to church meetings, church prayer meetings, small group sessions, etc. All the different things you can get involved with with the church. And um, how, how are you going to do that? How are you going to be especially good to the believers? More good than you would be to those who are outside the family of faith. It's going to be awfully hard. We need to make a conscious effort, a conscious effort to gather and be on the lookout for what we can do for one another. It is something that God wants us to do. So let me read this from different translations. I'm just skipping down a little bit, not doing that whole passage. The message, paraphrase. So let's not allow ourselves to get fatigued doing good. At the right time, we will harvest a good crop if we don't give up or quit. Right now, therefore, every time we get the chance, let us work for the benefit of all, starting with the people closest to us in the community of faith. We should have some people close to us in the community of faith. And we can start by being a blessing in their lives. Amplified. So then, while we as individual believers have the opportunity, let us do good to all people, not only being helpful, but also doing that which promotes their spiritual well-being, and especially be a blessing to those of the household of faith, born-again believers. We are a part of one household, the fellowship. We together should be making up a community of people who glorify God and serve Him with all of our hearts. The Disciples Literal New Testament, just Galatians 6.10. So then, while we have opportunity, let us be working good to everyone. I like that. Let us be working good to everyone but especially to the family members of the faith. We are a family, especially to the family members of the faith. We need to be working good. The voice paraphrase, so seize any opportunity that the Lord gives you to do good things and be a blessing to everyone, especially those within our faithful family. The Fellowship, you can find it at hungryandthirsty.org or you can just go to thebookpatch.com and buy it there. Jesus is Lord and I am your servant for his sake.